Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing about water soluble vitamins. So in our previous videos we have discussed about fat soluble vitamins, right? So the difference between fat soluble and water soluble vitamins we have already discussed in our previous videos. So water soluble vitamins, so with the name they are soluble in water and except one vitamin that is B12, cobalamine, others are not stored in the body and B12 will be storing in the liver. So this vitamin B12 will be useful for erythropoiesis. So and moreover, unlike fat soluble vitamins, water soluble vitamins are unstable for cooking. So that's why doctors used to say you used to consume the plant materials like uh, fruits, vegetables will be consumed rather than cooking and heating. So what it is indicating? Heating causes destruction of particular functional activities of concerned vitamin that too especially water soluble vitamin and another characteristic feature of water soluble vitamins that is they are excreted in however amount of vitamin like what water soluble vitamins you consume in food so they will not be stored in the body like uh, fat soluble vitamins uh, usually they used to store in the liver so these water soluble vitamins used to be excreted in the urine so in case of water soluble vitamins there is no hyper vitaminosis so to talk about the main water soluble uh, vitamins vitamin b complex and non vitamin b complex that is vitamin c we'll discuss in our further videos so vitamin b complex so what are all the b complex vitamins involved one is b1 popularly known as thymine b2 as riboflavin b3 as niacin b5 as pantothenic acid b6 as pyridoxine b7 as biotin b9 as folic acid and b12 cobalamine so we are all aware this is the only B complex vitamin which will be stored in our body, cobalamine. So, thymine, to talk about thymine, so this is the first vitamin, B complex vitamin to be identified, discovered, okay, and the name and the number as B1 thymine. So, heat labile, so all B complex vitamins are heat labile. So, if you heat for up to the particular temperature, they preserve their functional activities if above the heating temperature they will lose its function so that's why thymine is a heat labile sulfur containing vitamin remember this is one of the vitamin of b complex group having sulfur in the structure so what is it contained in the structure it contains a pyrimidine ring and thiazole ring thiazole thi thi this remembers sulfur so as we mentioned earlier this is the only I mean like one of the vitamin which contains sulfur in the structure. So this pyrimidine ring and thiazole ring both are linked by methylene bridge. So it is highly alkaline sensitive. So if you go through the structure you can make out here pyrimidine ring is there and next is thiazole ring. Pyrimidine ring I have mentioned in purple color and thiazole ring in green. So both these rings are joined by orange colored methylene bridge. So you can clearly make out this is methylene bridge right so coming to these sources so where and all this thymine is present so what are the food sources which are enriched of thymine so rich sources are outer coatings of food grains like rice wheat and yeast so that's why you are supposed to consume unpolished rice rather than polished rice because polished rice like they look white but it will not be having thymine in this okay so prefer unpolished rice rather than polished rice and good sources are whole cereals pulses oil seeds and nuts fair sources are meat liver and egg and fish so you see here all like nowadays you will be seeing in the market brown bed so unpolished uh, wheat okay so they will be using for making of bread brown bread so because they are enriched of thymine so which has got quality of uh, energy production so regular daily allowance how much amount of thiamine you have to supply in the diet for a proper body growth and functioning so 1 mg per day and the speciality of thiamine here is so if you are consuming more carbohydrate diet that means if your diet is rich of starch and other carbohydrates so the thiamine requirement also will increase why because this thiamine is the energy releasing vitamin so to metabolize carbohydrates completely and to get energy completely from particular carbohydrate you require thiamine. So without thiamine your energy requirements will not be fulfilled. Next absorption and transport unlike fat soluble vitamins 
water soluble vitamins have simple absorption and transport because they are water soluble so it absorbed in the small intestine by active transport by simple diffusion and they reaches to the liver through circulation so ethanol inhibits active transportation of thymine that's why chronic alcoholism prevents thymine absorption from intestine and its storage in the liver so that's why the people who are chronic alcohols they will be like weak every time because though they are consuming food the as they are consuming alcohol this alcohol prevents the absorption of thymine without thymine whatever the food they are consuming the carbohydrates involved in the diet will not be producing any energy so the active form so unlike fat soluble vitamins b complex vitamins they do have active form or you can say coenzyme so any enzyme to work it should have cofactor or coenzyme cofactors are made up of minerals like ions and coenzyme is organic in nature okay like b complex vitamins like thymine you say so to thymine if you add two phosphate groups it will be converted to thymine pyrophosphate so this is the active form thymine is metabolically inactive so when you are adding two phosphate group so its structure then it will be converted to thymine pyrophosphate this is active form or coenzyme form of thymine which will be having aided effects to enzymes such as i'll give i'll take example pyruvate dehydrogenase so pyruvate dehydrogenase is an enzyme okay it's a multi enzyme complex involved in conversion of pyruvate to acetyl coa so without this conversion pyruvate cannot enter into tca cycle and glucose cannot be oxidized completely so thyro uh, thymine pyrophosphate is active form of thymine you can see here two phosphate groups in has been added so coming to the functions so as we said earlier tpp is active form and we have already mentioned thymine is required for energy production so that's why it is otherwise called as energy releasing vitamin so essential for release of energy from carbohydrates as the first point and necessary for branch chain amino acid metabolism so when you classify amino acid based on structure you have simple amino acids branch chain amino acids aromatic amino acids sulfur group containing amino acids basic amino acids acidic amino acids similarly there is a category that is branch chain amino acids like valine leucine isoleucine so all these three will be coming under branch chain amino acids for the metabolism of these amino acids you require thymine and for functional activity of nervous system also we require thymine 